Have you ever wondered how to navigate the complexities of everyday life using time-tested wisdom? Welcome friends, today we're venturing into the realm of biblical principles and their application in our daily routines. The wisdom of the Bible transcends time and is as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. One of the gems we find in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 tells us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. This verse is a beautiful reminder to trust in a higher wisdom, beyond our limited understanding. It speaks to us when making decisions, facing life's challenges, or setting the direction of our lives. So, are you ready to explore more of this timeless wisdom? Let's dive into more Bible verses that can guide us in our day-to-day -day life. Scene Script Life can often be stressful, can't it? How can we handle stress in a healthy way? In our day-to-day -day lives, we encounter a variety of stressors. Work deadlines, family obligations, financial pressures, health concerns, and even the simple rush of our modern, fast-paced world can all contribute to feelings of tension and anxiety. Stress is something we all experience, and it's crucial to manage it effectively. Why is this so important? Because stress, when left unchecked, can affect every aspect of our lives. It can harm our physical health, strain our relationships, and cloud our judgment. It can make us feel like we're carrying a heavy load, with no relief in sight. But there is a promise of relief, found in the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Here Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This verse invites us to find rest and peace in God amid life's burdens. It's an offer of a safe haven, a place of comfort and quiet where we can lay down our burdens and catch our breath. Applying this verse to our daily life can be as simple as taking a few moments each day for prayer, meditation, or quiet reflection. It's about consciously stepping away from the rush and the noise, the demands and the pressures, and just being still. It's about opening our hearts to the peace that God offers and allowing it to fill us, renew us, and strengthen us. Remember, this peace is not a one-time offer. It's always there, always available, no matter what we're going through. God's peace isn't dependent on our circumstances. It's a constant, unchanging promise. So next time you're feeling stressed, remember this verse from Matthew. Remember that you're not alone in your struggles and that rest and peace are always available to you. And remember to take a moment to step back, to breathe, and to find your peace in the midst of the chaos. Rest and peace are always available to us, even in the midst of chaos. How can we show more love and kindness in a world that often seems harsh and unkind? In a world that can sometimes seem cold and indifferent, cultivating love and kindness is more than just a moral imperative. It's a beacon of hope, a guiding light that can dispel the darkness of indifference and apathy. Love and kindness are not mere sentiments. They are actions, attitudes, and a way of life. Think about it. How do you feel when someone shows you genuine kindness? When someone goes out of their way to help you or simply offers a word of encouragement? It warms your heart, doesn't it? It gives you a sense of worth and can often turn a bad day around. Now imagine if we could spread that feeling, creating a ripple effect of love and kindness throughout our communities, our world. A verse from the Bible, 1 Corinthians 16 14 tells us, Let all that you do be done in love. This isn't a suggestion, it's an edict. It's a reminder that love should be the basis for all our actions. But what does this mean in practice? How can we apply this verse to our daily lives? Acting with love means being patient when patience seems impossible, understanding when misunderstanding would be easier, and showing empathy when indifference is tempting. It means offering support when others are in need, forgiving when we've been wronged, and choosing our words with care to uplift rather than tear down. It's about making the conscious decision to respond with love and kindness, even when it's the harder choice. When we act in love, we not only uplift the spirits of those around us, but we also elevate our own. We become better people, better friends, better family members. We create a world that's a little less harsh, a little more kind. So let's make a commitment to ourselves and to each other to act with love in all situations. Let's let our words and actions be a testament to the power of love and kindness. After all, as the Bible reminds us, love truly is the greatest commandment. Fear is a common human experience, but how can we respond to it in a healthy and productive way? This question is as old as humanity itself, yet it's just as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. Fear is a natural response to the unknown, the uncertain, the uncomfortable, 
It can manifest as a sudden chill down your spine, a quickened heartbeat, or a restless night of worry. Yet, fear, as much as it can be a hindrance, also has its place. It reminds us of our limitations, our vulnerabilities, and our humanity. But when fear becomes a barrier, preventing us from living our lives to the fullest, it's time to face it head on. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, we find a powerful antidote to fear. It reads, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let's unpack this for a moment. This verse is not just a command, it's also a promise. It calls us to be strong, to be courageous, not in our own might, but in the strength that comes from knowing that we are not alone. When fear looms large, it's easy to feel isolated, to feel like we're facing our battles alone. But this verse reminds us that this is far from the truth. The Lord our God is with us, wherever we go, whatever we face. He doesn't promise us a life free from fear, but he promises to be with us in the midst of it. So how can we apply this to our lives? By remembering this promise when fear strikes, by leaning on our faith during challenging times, by recalling that even in our darkest moments, we are not alone. Facing fear is not about denying its existence or suppressing our feelings. It's about acknowledging our fears, yet choosing to trust that we are held, we are loved, and we are never alone. So fear not, for we are never alone. As we navigate through life, these biblical principles can serve as our guide. As we draw our conversation to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points and the Bible quotes we've discussed. We began by talking about dealing with stress. Remember that verse from the book of Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30? Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. In times of stress and worry, remember to turn to God and find rest in His presence. He is our refuge, our strength, and our comforter. Then, we moved on to the importance of cultivating love and kindness. In the first letter of John chapter 4 verse 7 it says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. In every interaction and every relationship, let's strive to show love and kindness, reflecting the love of God. We also discussed facing our fears. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 encourages us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. God is with us in every situation, even in the midst of our fears, reminding us to be strong and courageous. Each of these principles is more than just a quote. They are life lessons, timeless wisdom from the Bible that we can apply to our everyday life. Whether we're facing stress, trying to cultivate love and kindness, or dealing with fear, these principles remind us of God's presence and His love for us. So, as we go about our daily lives, let's remember to lean on these principles. They are not just words on a page, but a guide for our journey through life. Remember, the wisdom of the Bible is timeless and applicable to our everyday life. Trust in the Lord, find rest in Him, act with love and face your fears with courage. Live these principles and see how they transform your life.